Creative Maths brings you Maths Made Really Clear with Dr Nick. Expressing fractions in simplest form. Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths. This video is part of a suite of videos to help people understand fractions. In this video, I will explain what equivalent fractions are, what simplest form is, and then show with lots of examples how to express a fraction in simplest form and know when it is simplest form. The denominator is the number on the bottom of the fraction that tells you the size of each piece by telling you how many pieces make up one whole. The numerator is the number on the top that tells you how many pieces you have. Fractions are equivalent if they describe the same amount. Here is a whole block of chocolate. It can be divided into 10 equal parts or tenths. Here is a part block of chocolate. Someone ate some of the block. What is left is 8 tenths of a block of chocolate. Say we decided that the whole block was made up of 5 pieces instead of 10. Each of the pieces is made up of 2 of the smaller pieces. Each fifth is the same as 2 tenths. Then we would call this 4 fifths of a block of chocolate. The amount of chocolate in the part block has not changed. 8 tenths and 4 fifths are equivalent fractions. They describe the same quantity in different ways. We reduce the number of pieces in a whole block from 10 to 5 by dividing by 2. And we reduce the number of pieces in our part block from 8 to 4 by dividing by 2. We need to divide the numerator and the denominator by the same amount in order to express it as an equivalent fraction in simpler form. Is 4 fifths in simplest form? A fraction is in simplest form when there is no number that goes evenly into the denominator and into the numerator. Yes, 4 fifths is in simplest form. There is no number that goes evenly into 5 and into 4. I will now work through a variety of examples to show how to put fractions less than 1 into simplest form. Express 6 eighths in simplest form. What number goes into 6 and into 8? Both 6 and 8 are even, so 2 must go into both of them. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. We get 3 fourths. What number goes into 4 and 3? There isn't one. 2 goes into 4, but it doesn't go into 3. Only 3 goes into 3, and 3 does not go into 4. So 3 fourths or 3 quarters is in simplest form. Express 7 eighths in simplest form. There is no number that goes into 7 and into 8. 7 eighths is in simplest form. Express 7 sevenths in simplest form. When the numerator is the same as the denominator, it signifies one whole. 7 cents could simplify to 1 over 1, which is 1. Express 25 thirtieths in simplest form. 2 doesn't go, 3 doesn't go, 4 doesn't go, but 5 does go. Whenever a number ends in 5 or 0, then it is divisible by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5, 30 divided by 5 is 6. Is 5 sixths in simplest form? Yes, there is no number that goes into 5 and into 6. After a while you get to recognise frequently used fractions in their simplest form. Express 27 thirtieths in simplest form. Hmm, 2 doesn't go as 27 is odd. What about 3? If you're not sure, you can use a calculator or a multiplication table. You look for a row that contains both 27 and 30. We can see that 3 goes into 27 and into 30. Divide top and bottom by 3 and we get 9 tenths. There is no number that goes into 9 and into 10, so the simplest form is 9 tenths. Express 24 fortieths in simplest form. 24 and 40 are both even, so we will divide by 2 on the top and the bottom. That gives 12 twentieths. Still both even, so divide top and bottom by 2. That gives 6 tenths. Still both even, so divide top and bottom by 2. 3 fifths. Aha! We know that nothing goes into 3 and 5. We could have done this with fewer steps by dividing top and bottom by 2, then 4, or directly by 8, but we still get the same answer in the end. 
What about expressing 3,500 over 4,200 in simplest form? Yeesh. But it's not as tricky as it looks. The first thing is to divide top and bottom by 100, so we get 35 over 42. And then we can see that 7 goes into 35 and it goes into 42. So we divide the top and the bottom by 7 to get 5 sixths. Here are some more examples for you to practice on. Pause the video and try them. The answers will be at the end of the video. Express the following fractions in simplest form. 4 sixteenths, 10 fifteenths, 36 forty-eighths, 10 thirteenths. 600 over 1400, 12 over 72. This video provided instruction and practice for putting fractions less than 1 into simplest form. Check in the description below for links to other videos and resources. This video was brought to you by Creative Maths. Please like it, subscribe and consider supporting our work by becoming a channel member. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who continue to help make these videos possible. Here are the answers for the practice examples. 4 sixteenths equals 1 fourth or 1 quarter. 10 fifteenths equals 2 thirds. 36 48ths equals 3 fourths or 3 quarters. 10 thirteenths is already in simplest form. 600 over 1400 equals 3 sevenths. 12 over 72 equals 1 sixth.